I'm Edward Wilkes. I'm the general manager of the Skyview Memorial Lawn out in East Vallejo. We have a 22-acre cemetery. I've been here 27 years. We're about 35 miles uh, north of San Francisco. You know, there's a wide range of emotions regarding death, burial. We have families that come out here for years, uh, very regular. We have families that once the burial is done, we never see them again. To go to a place that has the person's name on it. My parents' names are there, my mother and my dad, and I know they're not there, but yet it's a place that I can go and reflect and it makes me feel better. It brings back the memories. I was drafted and ended up joining the Air Force in uh, November of 1968. I didn't know anything about Meredith Hunter. I was away in the Air Force at the time and don't remember um, seeing any newspapers or hearing any news.
Now on the file here, there's no reference to a headstone, um, which sometimes happens and we don't particularly know why. It could be a financial factor. Probably most of the people that are buried here eventually come around and uh, purchase a marker. In this case, they did not. Happens to be uh, lot number 63, grave C. Each lot has four graves, A, B, C, and D. He's in grave C. So he's buried between the DeVos marker and the Aldridge marker. So if he were to have had a headstone, it would be right here next to Meyer. Right where I'm standing. Meredith Hunter was 18 years old. And the only name we have is his mother. Uh, we don't know if she was able financially or was capable in any other way to come back and see us and, and arrange for a marker. I imagine that for some people it is so traumatic, they just can't come back. It's too hard for them. To come and see the name, it's a showing that the person once existed here, to prove that that person lived here and functioned here on Earth with us. But 1969 to uh, 2005, how many people are left that uh, remember or know about him, it's hard to say.